All right, today Mustang. Earlier I make the status update. Okay, what do we have today? Why I keep the no, no keep the brake cleaner here. New bearings on the axles. I haven't changed yet the seals. The seal, the, these are the old seals. I'm gonna change it at the end. I want to make one test fit now. I'm gonna put in. I'm gonna put the micrometer, read that the axles are okay, and then I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna continue. I don't want to put the new seals and then sliding in and out the axle because you have to be careful how you're going to slide in and out. And one of the reasons that I'm changing the seal, like I said before in the previous video, is because I slide the axles. I don't remember how many times. It doesn't look so bad, but it's a good chance to change also the seals to don't have any headache. Right? Right. Let's start. Let's start to see. Will be okay. Rear right, it's done from the brakes. One adjustment here inside on the handbrake at the end on that screw there inside. Uh, then, what I want to say, uh, I machine this bolt here because it's much more thick and it's not giving to me clearance. So, keep in mind that the caliper, the brake caliper, it's not moving, it's moving that much. And the pistons are squeezing the brake pads, so there we're gonna stay. <clears throat> and keep in mind that the leaf spring has small movement to the caliper, it's slightly here. Here, there is it's a bigger, let us say, because it can it can be compressed more if you like. Same thing I'm gonna do also from the other side because if I put the fitting, you see that there is no clearance. It has to come first the fitting here, this one, the washers, and then the nut, the bolt. So I have to do it from this side as well. Same clearance, I'm gonna maintain the same clearance here. We're looking good, we make some progress. By, by the way, I already put the wheel before I put the uh, brake calipers. I put the wheel, I torque it down with a gun, not with a torque wrench, obviously. And then I spin it to see that it's, uh, that it's turning true. It looks okay. It looks beautiful. At the end, a little bit with the brake cleaner here. At the end, at the end. Let's move on. Let's take care of the other side. Now, time for the master cylinder. Uh, read the, the instructions. It's important. Pedal traveling. Okay, don't make a mistake. Pay attention to the details. We have, this is for the bleeding. This not now, not now, okay. All right, master cylinder and the brake lines. Now, I light down the brake lines, I have to blow with air, I have to clean them. This is the front right, that's the front left. This is the main one that goes back. And the rear one, it goes like that. This is for the rear left here. And this one, it's the rear right. That I have to make some modifications here. What I'm gonna do? <coughs> I'm gonna make the same one as it is here, this, but I have to do it somewhere here because of the flexible pipe. So the, the I think they call it it's called it flaring, this one, something like that. Anyhow, this has to be somehow like that there. Let's set it in here on the tube of the diff. It goes behind. It might be. Okay, for now, for now, keep it as this. Not with anything there. Later on. First, let's start by removing the master cylinder up over there. Removing the brake lines. Yep. I'm going to take care of bit this one. So don't be here. Just in case, don't make it fall down and crash it. Yeah, and then cleaning it. Let's go. Let's start. Let's start. These are the adapters. Ah, the bolts are inside. Nice, beautiful for the cover. Don't fill anything inside. It's gonna stay like that. Most probably, I'm gonna block it here on that fittings. So don't fill something in. Just in case. Move on. All right, now <clears throat> master cylinder. First, I check the stroke. From both of them, I adjust the bracket, the 
the shaft that comes out. This one, both in place. This is to distribute the pressure, all right? Front and rear. It's been already torqued down here. From the other side, I haven't torqued it down to bleed it first, to bleed the piston first. I have one problem with the bolts. That's why I tested before I put this one and before I put the spacers to see that it's okay and then I remove it and then I put that one. Now, let me put this away. No need anymore. Give me a second. Now, this is not a solenoid to make a burnout. There is, there is one similar to this one that's a solenoid that you can make burnout. There is an on off switch. You hit the brake and it's not giving brake on the rear wheels. It's engaging only the front. This is a pressure switch and this is for the uh, brake lights. If you don't have inside, you can use this one, but there is inside. Uh, when, I when I removed the previous one, I saw it inside. So, I keep this one. This is the old one. I just recycled this one and this one. And the cap here. Just in case. I keep this just in case if it's not uh, reaching, let us say, any brake line here, I'm gonna use this one. It's supposed to be plug and play because also this one is located somewhere here on the body. Let me show you on the car. This was located at this point here. So the other one is gonna be located somewhere here. It's not far away. It's supposed to be plug and play. Let's stress it. Let's put the lines and then I need also, what do I need? I need the bolts. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is in inches. It's not in millimeters. And I don't have this kind of bolts. What I need, I need same bolts like this, the length, the thickness of this and the thickness of this to add it. And you're gonna be Perfect. Let me see if I have any. All right. Yeah, you can see that's not enough. Yeah, let's see if if I have any, and then I'm gonna order. Yeah, the thing is, to, to get two bolts, I can I have to wait one full day usually. <laughs> now, nothing's been bolted down. I just find this is in, in millimeters. It's just by hand half thread inside just to hold the master cylinder in place from both sides I already ordered the bolts that's how it looks like this one this line it's the front left comes here this is the front right that need to be secured in place but first I have to to, uh, to, to secure the master cylinder then to start tightening down the pipes. Only only this pipe and this pipe has been torqued down. All the rest is not. I can remove it by hand. And here I use this pipe to pass it to the front right wheel. Now lifting it up, lifting it up to pass the rear brake line. All right, I just put the boot here. So don't come water. All right, this, all this need to make a little bit massage to so don't touch here. But first I have to secure the master cylinder, the brake line, and then let's lift it up. Now, from down, that's the brake line that goes back, this one here. All right, this is supposed to go 180 degrees to go up at that point. Don't ask me how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see. This has to stay more high, actually, far away from the accelerator pedal here. There, this, this one has to come here. This one has to come here and it will be supported there. Then there is another one support here up. All right, and there is another one support here. And finally it's ending up 
there. How lovely. I have this line, the flexible line, obviously, that meet for the diff. Because of the movement up and down, you, can put, you cannot put a steel line. So that means this is going to support here, and this one has to be cut, make the flare, and then put it here inside at this point. So I need to cut this line, but first need to be supported the line and then all the modifications. This one has to be held, held here with a hose clamp probably, and I need one cap for this side to block it. Then, then let's see from back. This is supposed to come in place here, this is supposed to come in place there, and need to be trimmed, need to be cut at also this line to come at this point. That means the joint is going to be here. Same thing also from this side. It's coming here and the brake line is here. So it has to be cut it here and connected here at this point. Why to don't go... Can I go full still till the end? Let me see something because there is... No, how can I go, how can I do that? I'm gonna do this. I was thinking to go here, but no, how can I go there? To be with no, not the steel line because the brake caliper and it's moving a little bit. No, no, better the flex probe. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a brake shoes. It's a brake caliper. Yeah, no, the flex pole here flexible here because otherwise if you if you want to change the brake parts you have to change you have to remove all the time the brake line so need to be calculated also how much back it has to come to change the brake parts so it's not gonna be exactly there it need to have some space let us say to come somewhere there to be able to remove it and change the brake parts right don't be on the limit it, yeah, here modification, here modification, here modification, and this pipe. Don't ask me what I'm gonna do here, how I'm gonna make it pointing up. I have no clue. We're gonna see. I'm gonna think something. Cap for here. Before I do anything, first, like I said, I'm gonna support. This is for the handbrake. Okay, this is for the brake lines, and I have also these grommets. This is for the front to pass it, don't rub on the chassis. I have also this one, a couple of pipes. I try also to open this, that's the old one. I was thinking that here it was with threads, but it was not obviously. I cannot use this one. The old pipe, it was gone. <coughs> Talking about here. This was like that. And this most probably goes all together. This one, it was, it's the old one. It's, it's the old one, it's supposed to have... Oh, I can use one bracket. Yay, why not? Can use one bracket to fix from here to there. Weld it, let us say, here. And fix one bracket and put it here. Why not? Right? So this one, this was here up. Where I'm pointing. This was here up and was going to the diff. Most probably like this. Probably like that. Yes, it makes sense. One's here, the other one's back. Like that, it's supposed to be. Not here. It makes sense to be somewhere here. Yeah, in any case, you get the picture, right? Oh boy, let me put also the fuel line, that's the old fuel line, this one, all over here, that's the old fuel line, a little bit change also the fuel line, forget that, no need. how lovely, let me see where I have the tool for the brake lines, I think I have a tool, where I have it, don't ask me, don't ask me where I have it, we're gonna see, let's start from that. 
I brought the tool out. I don't remember the last time that I used it. And it was not for a brake line, definitely. I get one old brake line to make a test. I don't want to cut a new line. So I cut it successfully. All right. Nice, not bad. And then <laughs> it's not matching <laughs> here. Yay. How lovely. I need it smaller. Beautiful. Let's order a couple of tools. And this is how I'm dreaming how I want to pass the fuel line. It has to pass like this. On this hole in the, from where it comes the original one. All right, here, there, there, here. Then it's connected here with one rubber pipe from here till here. I don't know if it's touching the power steering pump because somewhere here is the power steering pump. Who can see about that? No, that's the old one. The old one, the old one was sending somewhere here, but from here they're passing the headers, and I want to run the pipe till there. I don't want to stop it here. So there is no other option. All right. This line. It has to bend almost like this. That's the old one. Plus this. <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck. Where is it? No, don't grab anywhere now. <laughs> Let's try to do it. And again, it should be one piece from from this side, from this side, till back. Here, where's the fuel tank? It should come from this side and be like this. So one sort of pipe here, and then from the side, front with the brake line. This side was before actually. Okay, where am I now? Fuel line comes from there, there, here, here, here. This one, it's bothering me a bit on the head that's already tested. We'll gonna make a little bit massage when we're gonna support. This is temporary here, just only to see. Also, this is not the right one. When we're gonna be support the line and we're gonna be installed the headers because we can install slightly bent this pipe inside to don't touch on the headers. Uh, before it was, uh, it was the rubber fuel line. Now it's gonna come from here till here, one rubber piece only. Before, from this side, where, where was the headers, from this side till front, it was a rubber pipe, not anymore. Specific, it was this long line. This was passing through the headers. I prefer to pass a steel line than a rubber hose through the headers. Headers are there, okay. What else? What else? What I was going to say now, I'm curious to see how in hell I'm going to support the, <coughs> the lines. I have the brackets. Not this one, this is for the handbrake. Okay, these are for the lines. Alright, that's a double one. This goes to inside the square. And that's locking, yeah. Okay. One, two, three. It's different, it's different. This is for the back line. These two supposed to be for the fuel line. <coughs> Brake lines, and this is supposed to be brake lines, yes. Brake lines, brake lines, also this. Uh, now, now, th this for the handbrake, forget about that. This, they are already installed, these two front. There was one comes there, and the other one goes there. 
it's been installed already how they put the, uh, the front brake lines but it's not been torqued down the rear one ah that's that's what i want to do the rear one it's there and it has to go there like i said earlier it has to go up but to do that i need the tools i can cut the line but i don't have the the tool to expand it to make a flare how to call it that one i don't want to support the brake line until i fix that one because this one i have to remove the brake line otherwise how can i work over there how can i do something over there i have to support also the master cylinder no till now i didn't arrive the bolts since today morning what time is it now now it is seven o'clock seven o'clock I'm still waiting now how many hours the two bolts and the tool to crimp the brake line because I have I don't have a tool. What else? What else? Let's let's make it down. Let's make it down to continue with the bracket. It's a good chance now. I'm gonna continue with the bracket to bring the welders to weld it for me and then send for powder coating. Yep. Okay. The correct bolt with the how I put it like that, I put it upside down oh, no worries, I have to open it again yeah, the, the washer goes inside and the spring washer goes outside like this one ok nice, solid uh, what ta -ta -ta -ta. I need to bring the welders here to start welding it and then removing it first we're gonna weld it then we're gonna leave it to cool down we're not gonna warm up so much and then we're gonna send for powder coating then, that's what I'm saying here this fitting over there what you see it's coming it's for the rear one that's supposed to be connected on the last spot here now i was watching a couple of lines that came with the kit to see if there is any u but there is no u if there was any u shape it's gonna be okay, let us say, to put it from there till here and make one drawing like this one. In this case, we're gonna see what I'm gonna do. Hey, we're gonna see what I'm gonna do. I can play with these lines, but if I, I need to have the tool for that, I need to, to make it steady. This the master cylinder, it's on the air. This is just only half thread that came inside by hand. Like I said, this in millimeters. That's it for today. I'm gonna bring now the welders. Ah, I, have, I had another one idea. Since I have a fuel line, why to don't crimp, to don't fix it nicely here, to don't be like this, to be with the fittings? Why not, right? You don't have at all a uh, rubber pipe there. Let, let me do also that, while the welders are gonna weld the bracket. I'm welding the bracket to be to, to don't be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, let us say. To be one piece, this bracket. That, that's the reason why. If you if you have to open, let us say, you're not gonna afraid to don't come in pieces. Let me bring the welders. Yeah, that's it for today. I'm gonna fix also this, and when I'm gonna receive the, the proper bolts and the tools, I'm gonna find a solution there for the brake line, then I'm gonna make a video again. Alright, so that's what I was talking about, that's what I'm gonna do, since I have some fuel line extra, alright, I like to don't use rubber hose, rubber pipe fuel line, it's necessary to put from there to the pump, because it's moving the engine, obviously, but here, it's not it, it can be still line. Now what's remaining here, I have to sort it out this one, I have to sort out this one and I have to put one T with one fitting to bolt it here. So that means this and this will gonna be one piece and we're gonna come this line, we're gonna bolt it here. You're gonna remove this as one. So yeah, with the same tool I bent the fuel line, the main fuel line down and this one it's the one that's expanding. I think that I saw you earlier. Okay, the stainless steel uh, teal gonna looks like this one. 
I'm gonna enter inside. I'm not gonna see. You're gonna see only the only the fitting. I'm not gonna look like that. I'm gonna machine this one. Not not the specific one. I need the same like this, but T come like that. Now let's finish the video here. I wanna say two three things. One comment. Uh, you are expecting from the office to tell you where to work. Obviously, I'm employee. I mean, have you seen, uh, let us say, anybody to start working on any car because they arrive the parts? I mean, it's a common sense. I don't know, if somebody doesn't understand that, <laughs> his problem, not my problem, you know? Uh, that's the first thing. Right, Mr. Omar? You're gonna jump, wait, wait, if they said to you from the office, work, let us say, on this car, you're gonna stop working on this car and you're gonna work on the Bentley, let us say, by yourself? Will you gonna do that? No. Uh, let us say me, if I'm building an engine, they said to me, build an engine inside. Will I gonna stop by myself and start working on the Mustang? No. If they do, uh, yeah, I'm we're following order. Falling order we're exactly, falling order. we're employees. Here, yeah, some people they don't get it. Some Something people... Something happened? No, some people, there was one comment that uh, he's waiting, let us say, to, uh, to tell them from the office where to work on the car. For some... Employee, bro. Yeah, some people they don't have a, too much brain, you know, to think. Anyhow, now, at this point, where we are, we need to come the guy for the fittings. Anyone? To get one fitting tomorrow. It will gonna be nice, you know? Now, when Mr. Isaac, he bring me the tools for the brake lines. He'll gonna bring me the two bolts from there. Then we have to support the lines. Then they have to come the welders also here. I already informed them to come and weld it and spot weld here the bracket. They didn't came yet. I'm sorry. So, whenever they come, and they bring me the rest of the parts. Again, I have to ask permission from the office because now I'm gonna continue working on the engines. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes tomorrow, I'm gonna finish the fitting here, and then I'm waiting to finalize the master cylinder, the brake line, and the other stuff. Uh, that's it for now. Whenever they're gonna bring the parts, you're gonna see another video. Thank you very much. And once again, in any company, the employees they don't get. They're not saying, "Ah, all right." They came the parts for this car, let's jump on this car. Ah, they came the parts for that car, let's jump on that car. It's not like that. <laughs> if you don't understand, it's your problem, not my problem. Thank you very much.